All right, so this is gonna be an unboxing video and it's one that I'm uh, pretty excited about. I honestly didn't really think I was gonna end up being able to get one of these knives, um, but I decided to get one and I found one um, that hadn't sold too, too quickly. Well, actually I was there right when they went up online, but um, these definitely are, are, they. I think most dealers only got six of them. So they were kind of tough to get, but I was able to get one. And this is a gradation cutlery stag handled number 82 Dixie stock knife. And uh, I'm opening this for the first time. You can see that it came from traditional pocket knives, LLC. And I'm actually gonna be opening it with this knife. This is the earlier, well, there's a lot of marker on my hand there. Um, this is the earlier, the 2014 version. I'll do a knife talk video comparing this and this year's version. So um, keep an eye out for that definitely and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get a notification when I post that. But I'm just gonna open it with this knife for now. I got that one real sharp. So first, let's see what we got in here. Got a pen traditionalpocketknives.com and this got to me pretty quickly so uh you know it's just coming from ohio one state over so um nice little pen it's pink which is interesting i don't mind pink so happy with that and there's just a shipping label in there and here's the knife so i want to make sure that this uh marker from my hand doesn't get on the tube too much here but See, it's a number 828318 Sandbar Stag. So 82 is the uh, pattern number, 8 is the Turkish clip point, 3 is the number of blades, and 18 is the year of production. Okay, so let's open it up. This is unusual. Um, I wonder if uh, traditional pocket knives put this, they must have put this on because uh, normally they just come in a uh, you know wax paper. So there were individual pictures of these, which um, I was glad of. I almost bought one of these from another site, but they didn't have individual pictures. And there's some stag that I just don't really like. So uh, I was glad to get this, but uh, they had to have taken it out of the package to take those pictures. So maybe that's when they put this uh, newspaper on it. But let's open it up. So there's the wax paper. Not like it's missing the wax paper or anything and here is the knife and that is some nice looking stag uh, like I say I got to pick this out and it looks good on both sides very well matched um, yeah that that's nice looking stag it's thick enough that there's a let me make sure that this is focusing thick enough that there's something to it but not too thick I'll tell you what, I'm definitely going to look it over more before I do a full, you know, thoughts on it. But right now, I think that the blades sit better in this one than in my earlier one. Uh, definitely the, sit, the tip sits lower and the worn cliff is more centered. But boy, this is nice stag. Man, it's, I'm not always a huge stag fan, but this is nice stag. And uh, no gaps, really, really happy with it just on first look here. And that's really what this video is for. Um, I'll do a one minute overview of it also. And I'll do a knife talk, like I say, comparing the two. Let's open the blades to make sure the snap's fine. Nice, good snap. Nice and smooth. Snaps open, let's see that again. Yep, and close. Not super strong pulls, which is nice on a using knife, which if I keep this knife, it'll be a user. Um, there's that really great worn cliff. Let's see. I think that that tip could be a little burnt. Um, I'll have to see about that. Uh, but again, not a super strong pull. I would say a lighter pull on that one, probably like a four. But snaps, you can see that snaps back closed, opens up. And nice little cut out there for the drop point. Drop point sits lower on this than it did on the earlier one, definitely. Same deal. Um, pretty light, but good pull. Let's see. Not quite as much snap, but that's the case also on the other one. 
Um, so I'll, I'll compare the snap uh, on this and the earlier one in my comparison knife talk video. But uh, yeah, I'm liking this and uh, look out for those other videos. Um, if you have any questions about it that you'd like me to put in the other videos, go ahead and leave them. Um, and if you'd like to get notifications for when those videos go up, subscribe to my channel. But uh, otherwise, don't forget to go out and do good.